thank you Laurent, thank you very much for uh, uh, sharing with us the presentation and your uh, useful suggestion reg regarding to uh, COVID-19 and Tyler Burlot. Now let me read this uh, question from uh, Kun Sandy from Bon Café. Uh, can the company decide to assign the uh, uh, holiday leaves of the employees? The, re the reply is yes, but there is some limit. So we maybe let Kunkara to reply to the question of our... Um, okay, okay. Kunkara, let you reply to this question. Yes, so the question is, uh, can the company decide to, to get, uh, make the employee take uh, vacation, vacation day? Is this in case of like the employee con con contacting the, the COVID-19 virus or just in general? General. Uh, generally, it has to be the the employee's uh, decision to take his vacation days, but it can be uh, discussed with the employer when the vacation can be taken. That it does not affect the the work that has to be done. Uh, was that enough? Or yes, but the um, how I can say. The employee asks us that if after the COVID pass, maybe one or two months, and then the less of time before the end of the year, they have only a half of a days of vacation. So if they have any urgence, they cannot use anymore. Mm. So it's like uh, they're using their vacation day right now. Do I understand correctly? They ask for everyone to do. Oh, they ask for the employees? Yes. yes. Right it's now. like a must. A must okay. to do. In, in, in one month, we have to switch and have to take the vacations. 50% the, the pending days of, of, of the employee. Of, Yes. Uh, from, from, so the employee has to take turns to take vacation leave from the company, correct? Yeah. Uh, right now, instead of just uh, leave without pay or... Not leave without pay, just say... Uh, vacation day. Uh, for, right? They ask us to use the vacations in advance. <laughs> well, technically, uh, it can be discussed between the employer and the employee. However, okay. in this case, is. Um, something that is not beneficial to the employee. So if the employer wants the employee to take the, those vacation days, there has to be a written notice and the employee will need to sign and accept this uh, circumstance before the employer has the uh, authority to, to ask you to use your vacation days. Mm, I see. Okay. Thank you. What actually is important that Kara is saying is um, the employer cannot force Yes, it cannot cannot be forced to, to use the vacation. That was the main point that the employee has to agree and sign a written consent for the employer. Yes. And okay, maybe the next question is from uh, Kuna Pat that uh, she wrote on the group chat. Uh, so uh, the question is: uh, Do we have to pay the employees during the quarantine? I think this one, uh, Lorraine, before I was yes. mentioning something. Yes, if the employees actually is in quarantine. So this means it should be a decision. Huh? It should not be in hospital, but in quarantine, the employer has the possibility to, to not pay. But you cannot force, at the same time, your employee to work. It's on your decision. So if you want to pay, you can pay. But if you don't want to pay, you have the possibility to suspend the payment for 14 days maximum. Thank you, Laurent, for uh, replying me. Uh, one more question related to the restaurants that are now uh, impacted by the COVID-19 and some of them are forced to close. Uh, there is some special regulation that they must be aware of or uh, there is something that uh, we can tell them. Thank you. Oh, so, in the event that the, the company, the restaurant has to close down for a very long time, not having uh, like a time, a limit that when they're going to reopen, and don't know if they're going to reopen again or not. In that case, the, the employee can be can be terminated. Uh, but if it's just uh, temporarily knowing that in a short amount of time, if the, the company is going to be opening again, in this case, uh, the employer 
usually don't uh, don't fire the employees uh, due to the reason that uh, since they will continue their business again, there is no reason to just uh, fire everyone for two weeks. <laughs> exactly. In this case, uh, sorry for uh, adding this, uh, but uh, in this case, can they suspend the payment for uh, that amount? They can. They can suspend the payment if they're not uh, conducting business business as usual. Can they can request the employees to take the leave without pay? However, it has to be mutual consent on this one. Thank you, Chiara. Uh, well noted. Uh, there is one last question from Mr. Michele. Uh, asking if uh, the government or the banks are offering special loans and incentives uh, in uh, this uh, uh, very particular moment. Um, the, normally, the government don't give any loan. You cannot actually uh, be entitled to have any loan. But the thing is, it depends what statute is your company. If your company, for example, provides government services, you can provide compensation. But if your company not provide government services for private, for private sections, private sector, for now, from today, there is not actually no law in which they provide for government costs on the law and financial compensation. The only compensation that actually has been um, uh, take effect, it's about the tax benefits, the tax measure, and the social safety measure. But excluding those actually uh, regulations, for now, I can say, huh? for now, there is not significant, any significant law. Clear enough. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Laurent, and uh, all of your colleagues, Mr. Uh, Julian uh, Chiara, for uh, having hosted with us this uh, very interesting webinar. I would like to invite uh, all the audience and uh, the people that will uh, listen to the audio that we are going to publish on uh, YouTube to contact you, uh, to visit the website of Just Law, and uh, for any question, they can uh, text to us or uh, they can uh, send you inquiries uh, directly to your email that I will publish uh, also uh, on the video and in different links. Uh, thank you very much on behalf of the Titan Chamber of Commerce. I hope you had a nice uh, uh, time with us. Please uh, follow our activities and uh, stay updated with us uh, for further events and webinars. Thank you, thank you very much.